everyone i woke up today like around 8 30 and i have my day planned out for me here we'll see how much i really stick to it so i woke up at 8 30 i'm gonna do my studying from 9 to 10 30 do a little research on how to start freelancing then i'll take my lunch at 11 i'll read for half an hour i'll continue studying then I'll meal prep because today we're actually having Korean barbecue at home, which I'm really excited about. So we'll do that around 1.30. And then I'm going to just kind of look at all the jobs out there from 2 to 3. Then we'll have Korean barbecue. I'm giving myself two hours of leeway on there. And then an hour of cleanup time because sometimes it can vary if we don't want the house to stink. But... Here we go. Got to plug it in. directly on top no. <laughs> so now is reading and journaling time the journal i have this thriller type book that i'll be reading seems like it's the season to kind of read something like this kind of started it a little but definitely haven't gotten to any of the juicy parts
price paper that we got. I'm just cut it into a little square. Then we're gonna set it in here with water to kind of soften it up. Normally do about like three to four at a time. Spaced out. little bit of fish sauce. Some red pepper flakes or powder. Quite a bit of that. More fish sauce, possibly. Maybe a little more chili powder. that I did with onion, carrots, and cucumber. I mixed it here. This is gonna go for the chopped lettuce that I have down here. And then for the vegetable oil and sesame oil mixed in here with some salt and pepper. And then we'll have like this chili sauce on the other one for dipping. And I've been adding this one onto the chili sauce as well. I kinda like it, it's a little like tangy. And I forgot to mention, this is another dipping sauce that we use. We recently were looking for it and we couldn't find it. So if you really want a good dipping sauce, I would suggest to buy this one. You just can't go wrong with it. For the wrapping part of it, we're going to use this pickled radish. They were two for three dollars at H Mart, which was a deal. And then we get the rice paper, but the rice paper is a little hard, so my boyfriend likes to have this one softened, so it's ready now for the meat and the grilling part of things. Uh, we grill it with some onion, and this is some short rib that I have marinated. Uh, I know they will marinate, so it might be a little, okay, it's it's doable, it's not that frozen. After I marinated, I froze it and then I left it to defrost overnight in the fridge. And we will be eating it with um, brisket. This frozen cat beef brisket and it's like that. And then this one is brisket also, but um, we mixed it in with some, I forget the name of it. But yeah, this is a mixture. And so we'll be using that, grilling all of these things. We usually take our dining table, we'll usually take it outside. But I'm thinking about this like Paxson bag, paper bag. It always gets so greasy, so I'm thinking we could put this on top to so where we put the plates and then the grill could be on the other side and it might save us some smells and greasiness on the table.
so the the paper thing, you know, the grace is coming here and here, but we didn't grab that side. So you know, I can't believe you didn't cut this all this all this fat off. I couldn't. It wasn't letting me. It was just there, and then the heat of it was hitting my hand. It was burning me. A little like grease jumping. Dented of water there because it's it's leaking from here. Look, I had to quickly take the trash out and use this bin. Yep, we were not expecting our Friday to be 